I am Carol Angela Davis. I've got your cannabis news. Well, if it ain't one thing, it's another, as my dearly departed mother used to say. From Florida, State Attorney Jack Campbell said last month his office is not going to prosecute cannabis possession cases going forward. Uh, and that's because the state is not equipped with the test that can tell the difference between marijuana and hemp, and hemp is now legal. But don't worry, the feds say, don't worry, we'll do it. The Northern Florida U.S. Attorney's Office saying that it will continue to prosecute, prosecute marijuana possession cases, and it will even review cases that have already been set aside, folks, by state attorneys. The feds are even willing to swear in assistant state attorneys as federal attorneys in order to pursue marijuana cases. That's pathetic. It serves as a reminder, anything to get you in jail. Fe it serves as a reminder, federal prosecutors can go after individuals for cannabis related federal offenses, even in cannabis legal state and local jurisdictions. In fact, they can do it even if the individual has already been charged or punished by their state or local jurisdiction, which tells you how you need to be voting out here. All right, let's turn to another story from California, uh, Napa County there. The wine industry worried about the smell of marijuana affecting tasting rooms and also permeating grape skins and damaging the quality and value of the wine. So that issue is going to a vote there in Napa County. Cannabis agricultural regulations include limits on the size of cannabis grow ops and how close those ops can be planted next to vineyards. And they also include very harsh limits on the kinds of pesticides that can be used on marijuana. But what if those pesticides can be used on the grapevines? Could the chemicals reach cannabis fields from nearby vineyards? That's the question. They're also worried that cannabis farmers' failure to include certain bug killers are going to leave, leave other fields susceptible to any kind of entering plague. It's a mess. Now remember, the cannabis agriculture makes much more money than those grapes do, folks, those wine grapes. It's been estimated that cannabis agriculture brings in $760,000 to $1.52 million in yearly tax revenue to Napa County. So it's a mess. Thanks for watching.